Hi there. Have you ever been in a meeting or a class session brainstorming as a group and wished you had an easy way to keep track of everyone's answers? Well, today I'm going to show you how to use WooClap's brainstorm feature to do just that. On WooClap's main interface, click on Create Event and give your event a unique name so that you can identify it later. I'm going to call this Group Brainstorm September 5, and I'm going to personalize the event code. Once inside your event interface, you can click on New Question and then scroll down to the Gather Feedback section and click to add the Brainstorm question here. Now, if you're organizing a general feedback session with students or colleagues, you may be unsure as to what kinds of categories you should add in advance of your session. That's why we've added a handful of examples in the examples gallery up here. Click on see examples and you'll see a few different ways in which we suggest you use our brainstorm question. One of the best options to get going with WooClap's brainstorm is this one, which we call start, keep, stop, and use in lots of our internal meetings. What should we start, keep, and stop doing in our current meeting process? You can click here to preview the question and here to add it to your WooClap event. If you like, you can modify this question to suit your particular needs as a presenter. Once your question is added, click here to save. By default, WooClap events are anonymous. However, if you would like to know who answered what, you can turn on either the authentication setting over here, which will require your participants to log into WooClap to join the event, or simply use the participant username feature here, which allows participants to enter a name when they connect to the event. When you're ready to present, you can share your screen virtually or in person with your colleagues, students, or participants, and click display next to the how to participate bar at the top of your WooClub event. Your participants can join the event by either scanning the QR code with their mobile device, or by going to WooClap's website and entering the event code here. Once everyone is connected to the event, click the right arrow button on the screen to display the question. To give you a better idea of what it really looks like when you have a group of people who are responding to a brainstorming question live, I decided to call in a few of my colleagues. Thanks guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and display the QR code so they can connect to the event with their mobile devices. I'll just give them a second to do that. And once it's done, I'll launch the question. Can add their ideas in the different categories. They can also edit their responses, delete them, or even change the category after submitting if they like. Once everyone has had a chance to respond, you, as the presenter, can review the responses and move them around if you see fit. If you move a response from one category to another, like if I take, for example, collaborating better is something that I think we're already doing and I want us to keep, I can just click and drag it over here. It will change the color block automatically. After the session has ended, you can log into your WooClap account to review the results. And with a basic pro or custom account, you can even download a report. Thanks guys. After the session has ended, you can log into your WooClap account to review the results over here in the settings menu. If you have a basic pro or custom account, you can also download an export of the report. Those with a custom plan can even send the report to their participants as long as the authentication setting was turned on for the event. And there you have it, an easy, interactive way to keep all of the ideas generated during your next brainstorming session. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon on WooClap.